PMT function is a financial function that calculates the periodic payments for a loan or investment based on a constant interest rate, the number of periods and the loan amount. Here is the syntax. Rate, the constant interest rate can be supplied as percentage or decimal number. For example, if you make annual payments on a loan at an annual interest rate of 9%, use 9% or 0.09 for rate. If you make monthly payments on the same loan, then use 9% by 12 or 0.0075 for rate. NPER, the total number of payment periods for the loan. For example, if you make annual payments on a 10-year loan, enter 10 for NPER. If you make monthly payments on the same loan, then multiply the number of years by 12. PV, the present value or total amount that a series of future payments is worth now. In case of a loan, it is simply the original amount borrowed. It is also termed as the principal of a loan. FV, optional, the future value or a cash balance after the last payment is made. If FV is omitted, it is assumed to be zero. Type, optional, indicates when payments are due. Zero or omitted, payment due at the end of the period. If the value is one, payment due at the beginning of the period. For example, $100,000 is borrowed on a 10-year loan with an annual interest rate of 9%. PMT calculates the yearly payments paid each year. To calculate the annual payment, use this formula. PMT is Excel's loan function which works on a cash flow basis. Think of present value and payments as cash inflows and outflows. In this example, the bank is loaning $100,000 which is a cash inflow and thus positive. The result is negative since you must make the payments. By default, the result is displayed in currency format, rounded to two decimal places, highlighted in red and enclosed in parentheses. The result displayed in number format displays a decimal number with a negative sign. To display the result as a positive number, put a minus sign before the loan amount or before the entire PMT formula. See when the loan amount is changed to minus $100,000, the annual payment is shown as positive value. Or if you have the minus sign outside the PMT formula, it is showing as positive value. To find the total amount paid over the duration of the loan, multiply the returned PMT value by number of payment periods. For the most part, you can omit the last two arguments in PMT formulas because the default values cover most typical loan cases. Future value FV, if it is omitted, implies zero balance after the last payment. Type, if omitted, payments are due at the end of each period. In case of annuity due, the payments are made at the beginning of the period. Pass the type argument as one. Pound num error occurs when rate is less than or equal to minus one or number of payments NPER is equal to zero. Pound value error occurs when any of the arguments provided are non-numeric. You can calculate weekly, monthly, quarterly and semi-annual payments using PMT function. For rate, divide the annual interest rate by the number of payments per year. For total number of periods, NPER, multiply the number of years by the number of payments per year. For example, for monthly payments, number of payments per year is 12, rate equal to annual rate by 12, total number of periods equal to years multiplied by 12. Find the periodic payment on a $50,000 loan with a 9% annual interest rate and a duration of 10 years for different compounding periods. Balance after the last payment is zero and the payments are due at the end of each period. Enter the periods per year in column B. Use this formula. 
use absolute reference for F2, F3 and F4 to copy the formula down. Annual interest is divided by periods per year to calculate the rate. Years are multiplied by periods per year to calculate number of payments for loan. Copy the formula down to calculate payments for other periods. Payments for other periods is calculated and displayed. You can also use the PMT function to calculate the payments made to return a fixed amount on an investment in n number of years. Consider an investment with an annual interest rate of 4.5% and a present value of 0. Calculate how much money should you deposit at the beginning of each month to have $75,000 in the account in 3 years. Use this formula. Pass annual interest rate by 12 for rate and years multiplied by 12 for number of periods. Pass 0 as present value PV. Pass $75,000 for future value FV that is the value you want to receive after 3 years. For type, pass 1 as the payments are made at the beginning of each period. $1942.49 should be deposited monthly for 3 years to get $75,000 at the end of 3 years. You can calculate the amount you can withdraw periodically for a fixed amount invested at a fixed interest rate for n number of years. Consider an annuity with an annual interest rate of 4.5% and a present value of $50,000. Calculate the amount to withdraw at the end of each month for the next 10 years. Use this formula. As you are investing, use a negative value for present value. For monthly withdrawals, divide the annual rate by 12 and multiply the years by 12. Pass the investment amount as PV, FV, future value and type or defaults. Copy the formula down to calculate the amount you can withdraw in different periods. To calculate the total amount withdrawn, use this formula. Amount withdrawn periods per year multiplied by years. Copy the formula down. As the periods per year decrease, the total amount you can withdraw increases. To download practice Excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.